now we're going to talk about how to upload content uh, into Symantia Storage and how to process the data sets that you're uploading into Symantia Storage for visualization purposes. So we are going to go into the content section of Symantia Storage and Visualization Tool. And it's very easy to load data sets that are in CSV or Excel format into Symantia Storage. We just click the plus button right here and a wizard pops up that will walk us through step by step on how to upload the data uh, into Symantia Storage. So all we do is we hit the Select Files button, and then we can select a data set. In this case, it's called Bellagio underscore Lighthouse CSV. I can select the formatting it was saved in, whether it was UTF-8 or it was Windows 1252. In this case, it was UTF-8, which is the standard encoding for CSV files. And I just hit Next. Then I just tell the, the, the engine um, how the data is laid out on the data set uh, that I'm uploading. What is the name of the ID column in my data set? What is the name of the text column in my data set? So I'm going to quickly refer, refer back to my data set and see what is the name of my ID column. It's called ID. And what is the name of the text column that I want to analyze? And that's called text. And I will just go back in here and tell the system how that data is laid out. It is not case sensitive, so I can type in in uppercase or lowercase. Text column is called text, and I can add other fields uh, as well if there are any other fields that I'm collecting as a part of the original data set. Let's add the date field, and I'll tell the engine how what is it called in my original data set. It's just called date, so I'll leave it as that, and then I just hit next. I can select other columns in here as well, like NPS, or name or location as well if needed and then i just hit next give the project a name give the give the collection a name i'll call it hotels bellagio and just hit upload now this tells us that it was successful successfully uploaded and i can just hit the uh, close button and see that the data set got uploaded right here in my, in my content uh, collections uh, window. Now, once that the data set is uploaded, I can process it using our state-of-the-art salience engine for text analytics purposes. Our engine is very powerful and it can pull out sentiment, entities, themes, and even categorize the comments in my data set into different uh, buckets as well. So let's, uh, let's analyze this data set through our engine. The way to do that is to click on these three dots right here, and there's the Analyze button. A wizard pops up that'll walk me through how to analyze the data for uh, through our engine. We just have to give the analysis a name. I'll call it Hotels Bellagio. I can select a configuration to use. In this case, I'll use my hotel configuration. I can even give a note for my analysis. And then I just hit process. This sends the data to our engine for processing, and we can see the status of the job right here. We give the engine a few seconds to process the data. And once this data gets processed, this hourglass is going to turn into a check mark and then we can start visualizing the data that the engine processed in our dashboards uh, uh, section of, of uh, Symantia Storage and Visualization Portal. There we go. Now we have a check mark next to the analysis that we uploaded. We have the results. And now we can start visualizing the output uh, of uh, the data set that we just processed through our text analytics engine. The way to do that is to just click the, the chart button right here next to the analysis, or we can go into the dashboards uh, section of SSV and start creating dashboards from this analysis within there. To create a dashboard from the analysis, we just click the charts button right here, and then we can tell SSV we want to create a dashboard from, we want to create a new dashboard. We would like to call this dashboard Bellagio Hotels, 
We can even leave a note. And then we can tell what collections we want what collection we want to use for this dashboard and which analysis within that collection we want to use for uh, for the dashboard. We can also select the number of columns I want in the dashboard. I usually go with two and then hit create. This creates the dashboard uh, for me. And here I can now start dropping in widgets with the information, uh, uh, with, the, with the data that the text analytics extracted from the data set. And voila.